The book starts with an incident, a very violent incident that's witnessed by a lady by the name of Stella, who doesn't know at first what she's witnessing, and the book kind of talks about how she discovers more and more about this incident, um, and also how it affects her own life, because it really sets her on a spiral of really recalling a lot of pain in her life and her relationship to many incidents of violence in her life. So it is based in the community where I grew up, north end of Winnipeg. It is based, um, the of the family is Indigenous women, they are Métis and some of them are also Anishinaabe, uh, and that is my family. There was a lot of stories in the news and in my neighbourhood about uh, gang violence and girls' relationship with, with gang violence. And knowing that those types of stories from my own life really haunted me that, that uh, the violence that can happen. And it's a very sad story and it was a very hard one to write. But in it, I found so many great characters that I really admired, older characters and aunties and grandmothers and, and friends. And I found myself really seeking them out and enjoying writing their passages and kind of trying to cram some beauty and some hopefulness and, and if, if I could even some funny parts into the story because it's there's so much more to life than, than just the sad parts. So that's what I would love for people to come away with is that though we're dealing with something very sad and though there is so much trauma in the world that we need to overcome in many ways, there is such enormous capability amongst these women and, uh, and so much strength. Whatever else I was, I loved you and you knew it. Your cookum knew it too, and you all loved me back. Whatever else you think or know, that is the most important thing about me, that I loved and was loved.